Hi, I'm Jay Wood, and welcome back to The Woodshed. What I just started off with was a jazz beat, and then I went into a rock beat with ghost notes. I had previously mentioned swing and a beat, so that's what I wanted to show you tonight, what exactly that means. Swinging really is referred, uh, refers to jazz, like a jazz pattern where you swing the ride. So what I'd like to get into tonight is I'm going to show you how we can take elements of that and put it into a rock beat. But I'm not going to just stop there. I also want to throw in a rudiment called the paradiddle diddle. Then I'm going to show you how to play in the same segment. And I'm going to throw that in too. So we're going to be dealing with some swung grooves tonight with accents, ghost notes, and a paradiddle diddle lick. So we got, uh, we got some work to do. So okay. So you heard that swing demonstration. So, Swing is a feel. There's no real proper notation to demonstrate a swing feel. But the best way that you can play it a lot of times is when we were doing the ghost notes before, we weren't really swinging them on the last segment. We were playing them pretty straight. So that would sound like a straight syncopated groove or rhythm. And I'm going to play the same one that I did on the last segment. And that would have sounded like this. This is without it being swung. This is a straight ghost stroke groove with eighth notes on the hi-hat. So perfectly fine groove. And I would use that groove depending on what kind of feel I was trying to put to the music that I was playing. But if I wanted a groove that was just a little bit more loose, a little more swampy, as they say, uh, I would sort of wait a little bit longer on my ghost strokes before I drop them in. So everything kind of gives a little bit more of an anticip anticipation of, of the beats. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to play the groove straight again. I'm going to leave the bass drum out. We'll just focus on the hands. Then I'll add the bass drum. I'm going to play it straight with the ghost notes. Then I'm going to start swinging them. And, and you'll hear the difference for sure. One, two, three, Like that. You can probably catch the difference on that. Another way to illustrate straight versus swung is a good way to do that is with a 16th note beat on the hi hat using right, left, right, left, right, left sticking, similar to this or exactly like this. Hear the difference? First one was really straight. Second one was more like a shuffle, but not exactly as stringent as a, as a shuffle is. So that, there lies how you can kind of swing a beat. More of a concept, but those little tidbits and uh, those little hints will help you get there. So taking everything that we've done, segment one, segment two, segment three, I'm going to throw them all in right now. I'm going to choose to do the accent pattern with the accents on the ands instead of the one, two, three, four. This is going to be on the one and two and three and four. And. I'm going to add the same ghost notes we've been working on, same bass drum pattern. It's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. One other thing I'll do, which you probably notice, is my posture will change depending on what I'm playing. If I'm on the beat and I'm playing it straight, I'm going to be kind of straight up and on top of it. When I'm going to swing it a little bit, I kind of want to get my body just a little bit more loose. So uh, that swing, the whole body gets thrown into, into the mix. Okay? 
Now, one little, uh, the dessert to this meal, I guess, would be the paradiddle diddle lick that I was telling you about that we can throw in on any sort of groove, depending on the tempo, of course. For those of you not really familiar with the paradiddle diddle, it's right, left, right, right, left, left. I'm going to use that one because I'm a right-handed drummer. Left-handed drummers, you can do left, right, left, left, right, right. You should learn both, but for this, for this uh, particular drum lick, we're gonna do, I'm going to do a right-hand lead. Once again, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. One of my favorite rudiments out of all of them. Hear it on two sound sources. I throw a right hand on the hi-hat, left hand on the snare. So, that's a paradiddle diddle. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do two paradiddle diddles in a row. I'm going to do the first one all on the right hand on the hi-hat, left hand on the snare. Then the second time around, I'm going to bring my right hand off the hi-hat and hit the snare drum with an accent and then go back to the hi-hat. I'll show you what I mean. I'll do it again. I'll do two of them in a row. Little more tempo on that. Right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. I'm gonna add the bass drum now. Now I'm gonna bring it up to tempo. Yet even faster. Now, before I put it into the groove that we've built in these last few segments, I'm just gonna play a regular beat and go into it. Not too fast. For those of you wondering about the notation on those, those are sex tuplets. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a quarter note and dividing it into six. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what the notation is there. Remember that quarter note, eighth note, you cut the quarter note into two. Triplets, you cut the quarter note into three. Sixteenth notes, you cut the quarter note into four. This particular one, you're going to cut the quarter note into six. There's a lot, a lot of dividing there. Almost too much for me. Um, so if I were to throw that into the groove that we were doing with the accents, with the ghost notes, and now I'm going to add that fill in there. It'll sound like this. There you go. That's just a little dessert for the dinner. Thank you. I'll see you at your next my next segment.